Hi, noobs from Poland here. Total Tank Simulator has added Steam Workshop and modding support a while back, and we wanted to take a look at what the TTS community has created so far. So we've tested a bunch of popular and less popular mods and picked a few ones we found particularly interesting to showcase them. Let's start with number 5. First up, Factories version 2 is a mod by a Steam user named Machicek0071. It's a scenario with 5 easy but fun missions. Easy as you have no money limit, so you can do whatever, so I've had fun playing it even on the flat map actually. And of course, trying to minimize the funds used will make this more difficult. Number 4. The second mod we wanted to showcase is called D-Day. It's a free stage campaign created by a Steam user named Automatic. It seems to be a nice challenge, at least if you try to stay historically accurate. There's a reasonable budget limit here, so it's not completely freewheeling. This mod requires you to have the Italy DLC installed, as it uses a few new maps that come with it. Number 3 The third mod we wanted to show was created by a Steam user named Prussian Keza. The mod is called Greater Reich Campaign. It's a sequence of 31 scenarios, yes, this many, where, as the name suggests, you play as Germany. The campaign starts with the invasion of Poland and goes on to other World War II inspired missions. This mod can present a nice challenge, and not only because it's long. Number 2 The penultimate mod we wanted to show off was created by a Steam user named A Regular Gamer. It's titled Battle of Smolensk Campaign. The mod comprises 7 maps and it isn't trivial, especially if you stick to the units recommended by the creator, who's included a nice description to help you play the mod in a historically accurate way. So big bonus points for that. And number one, the last but not least item on our list is not really a single mod. A Steam user named Rosehip has been consistently creating new units for Total Tank Simulator. It's hard to pick just one of Rosehip's mods, so here's a bunch of units they are made. Most of this user's work seems to be historic units, so there's also some which are possibly jokes. Knowing how crazy tank designs can get at times, it's difficult to be sure. You be the judge. Anyway, these units are really well modeled and are really fun to drive and shoot. So big props to Rosehip.
That's it! Links to all the mentioned mods are in the video description. Let us know which Total Tank Simulator mods are your favorites. Have we missed something important? Thank you for watching and for enjoying Total Tank Simulator.